You can say whatever you want on the internet, and even if it isn't true, some people will believe it. That's why, as a 6'6", six 250-pound six, man capable of bench pressing twice my body weight, I feel the need to call out nonsense when I see it. The latest example? Tesla showcased their Cybertruck towing a Porsche 911 while beating up Porsche 911 in a drag race. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, wow, this is a genuinely clever and well-executed marketing stunt. It showcases the potent acceleration of EVs that the world of combustion engines struggles to match. But then I heard rumors it didn't actually complete a quarter mile in the drag race. Instead, it only completed the eighth mile. This was easily verifiable watching the video, because you can see in the split view that when the Cybertruck crosses the finish line, it's only halfway to the timing boards, which mark the end of the quarter mile. Now, when it comes to drag racing, the quarter mile is the most important metric. It's why Tesla provides the quarter mile time at the end of the drag race video for the Cybertruck. And yeah, it's misleading to show this immediately after watching an 8th mile race, without informing the viewers. But it's not like Tesla is saying it can tow a Porsche 911 across the quarter mile faster than the Porsche 911 can go by itself. It can tow a Porsche 911 across the quarter mile faster than the Porsche 911 can go by itself. Say what? Faster than a 911 while towing a 911. Okay, so two statements that definitely seem like blatant lies back to back. We'll ignore the pedantic definition of the word faster. The Cybertruck has a top speed of 130 miles per hour. The Porsche 911's top speed is 181 miles per hour. There is no world where stock to stock, the Cybertruck is faster as in higher top speed. Yet they even show on the screen faster than a 911, which again is objectively not true. Now, did I just say I wouldn't get pedantic and then suddenly get very pedantic? Yes. Yes, I did. Do you see how annoying that- But what about the quarter mile statement? Now, perhaps an obvious rhetorical question, but if the Cybertruck actually was quicker in the quarter mile while towing, why would they end the race at the eighth mile in the video? Now, that's of course the easy way out, and this is Engineering Explained, where we use math to find definitive answers to questions that nobody really cares about. So, let's determine which vehicle would actually be quicker in the quarter mile. Now, before we do the math, we need to be absolutely certain that the cars are running an eighth mile and not the quarter mile. So very quickly, you can see there are bleachers when the vehicles cross the finish line. Then we get an overhead view, and you can see that that finish line is across from where the bleachers end, which marks the halfway point of the track. You can see the timing boards are all the way in the back, where the quarter mile ends, and there are no bleachers at this point. Clearly, the finish line was at the eighth mile. But if that's not good enough, you can go on Google Maps for Sacramento Raceway Park and measure the distance from the starting line to the line across from the bleachers, which turns out to be 660 feet or an eighth mile. And if you measure to the timing boards, you get 1,320 feet or a quarter mile. So we have positively confirmed the video shows them finishing the race at the eighth mile line. Okay, so ultimately what we're trying to figure out is, is a Cybertruck towing a Porsche 911 quicker in the quarter mile than a Porsche 911 doing it all by itself? So we have a lot of unknowns here, as you can see. So let's establish what we do know. Well, we do know that a Tesla Cybertruck by itself can complete the quarter mile in 11 seconds dead at 119 miles per hour, as verified by Jason Camisa, who took one on the drag strip. Okay. So how quick is the 911 by itself? All right, so Car and Driver tested the current generation base Porsche 911, which did the quarter mile in 11.5 seconds at 120 miles per hour. So you can see that's not a very big gap, and it seems highly unlikely that a Tesla towing another vehicle would do better than 11.5. However, we don't know exactly which Porsche 911 Tesla was testing against. We do know that there is a slow Porsche 911 out there, the 911T, and the reason why it's slower is because it has a manual transmission offered. So both car and driver 
and Motor Trend have both tested the 2023 Porsche 911 Carrera T and that vehicle has a quarter mile time of 12.2 seconds at 116 miles per hour. Again, slower because it's using a manual transmission rather than Porsche's very quick dual clutch transmission. Now, hopefully this goes without saying, but I think it's important that we use third party test results to understand what is the slowest possible quarter mile time for a current generation Porsche 911 which according to Motor Trend and Car and Driver is 12.2 seconds. So that's the target to beat for the Tesla Cybertruck towing a 911. All right, so we've established our baseline and now we're trying to figure out how long does the Tesla towing the 911 take to complete the quarter mile? Now we don't know this because they don't show the full clip of it completing a quarter mile. However, they do show a full uninterrupted clip of it completing the eighth mile. So we can get this information. So if we start the clock at the very first frame before the stage light goes out, which indicates when the drag strip timing begins, and end the clock when the Cybertruck first touches the finish line, you get 8.25 seconds. This comes from counting frames or the number of images that make up the video. So in this case, we have 198 frames for it to complete the quarter mile at a frame rate of 24 frames per second, 198 divided by 24, that gives you 8.25 seconds. Now, if you do the same thing for the 911, the stage light actually goes out one frame later. However, it takes four more frames to cross the finish line. And so you have a total of 201 frames at 24 frames per second, giving you a time of 8.38. Okay, so how quickly can the Cybertruck by itself run the eighth mile? Well, once again, thanks to Jason Camisa, we have this number. So the average of two runs running in opposite directions, the Cybertruck completes the eighth mile in 6.94 seconds at 99 miles per hour. Okay, so if the Cybertruck towing a 911 completes the eighth mile in 8.25 seconds, and a Cybertruck on its own completes that eighth mile in 6.94 seconds, well, that means we need an additional 1.31 seconds to complete that eighth mile while towing. What does that mean? Well, it means at an absolute minimum, we have to add 1.31 seconds to our Cybertruck's quarter mile time of 11 seconds. In other words, 11 plus 1.31, that gives us 12.3 seconds, absolute best case against the 911, which can do it in 12.2 seconds. Boom, it cannot win. It cannot win in this race. Realistically, that's all you need to know. It cannot beat the slowest current gen 911 while towing a 911 in the quarter mile. But yeah, again, I'm not quite satisfied. To get a more accurate answer, let's figure out how quickly the Cybertruck is going when it crosses the eighth mile mark. All right, so we're trying to figure out the Cybertruck's velocity. Velocity is equal to distance divided by time. In this case, for distance, we're going to use the entire vehicle with the Cybertruck towing the 911. And for time, we'll say how long does it take this entire length of vehicle to cross the finish line. So the Cybertruck itself is about 224 inches. Between the Cybertruck and the Porsche 911 looks to be a little bit bigger than one wheel of the Cybertruck, the wheels of the Cybertruck about three feet. So let's call that gap four feet. And then we have the length of the 911, which is 178 inches about. So you add that all up, you've got 450 inches divided by 12. That gives you a distance of 37.5 feet. Okay, so how much time does it take the entire vehicle to cross the finish line? So if you start with the frame just before it touches the finish line, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames, and you can see the back of the Porsche is just over the start of the finish line. So in seven frames, or seven twenty-fourths of a second, we traveled the full length of the towing vehicle. All right, so 37.5 feet divided by seven twenty-fourths of a second gives us about 128.6 feet per second, or about 88 miles per hour. So in the eighth mile, the Cybertruck towing the 911 does it at 8.25 at about 88 miles per hour. So now we can get a better estimate for the remaining time to complete that final eighth mile. 
Okay, so you can see there's an 11 mile per hour gap between the Cybertruck on its own and the Cybertruck towing a 911. So let's be generous and say that it can maintain this 11 mile per hour gap for the remainder of the quarter mile. So we're gonna be going from 88 miles per hour to the final speed of 119 minus 11, that gives us 108. In other words, an average speed across that eighth mile of 98 miles per hour. If we wanna figure out time, we just take distance divided by velocity, so we have 0.1 125 one eighth of a mile divided by 98 miles per hour. Multiply that by 3600 seconds in an hour, and that gives us a total time for that remaining eighth mile of 4.5. Five, nine seconds. So if we add 4.59 to 8.25, well, we get a realistic quarter mile time of around 12.84 seconds at about 108 miles per hour. Again, quite a gap between that and a Porsche 911. So as you can see, it will be slower while towing a 911 in the quarter mile. All right, so a couple very important concluding remarks. To me, all Porsche 911s look pretty much the same. I don't know exactly which one Tesla used in the video. Elon describes it as follows. And I, sh I should say this is, this is an actual Porsche. It's, we literally just got it from the dealer. 2023 Porsche 911. If I had to guess, I would guess that it's the Carrera T because that's the slowest 911 and it's also the lightest 911. So that would give the towing Tesla as much of an advantage as possible. One indication to me is that you can see a very noticeable lurch when the Porsche seemingly changes gears. You can see the whole car heaves forward briefly, something you wouldn't expect to see if it was a dual clutch Porsche, because even during a gear shift, these dual clutch transmissions maintain positive torque, meaning very little if any visual indication of lurching. The base 911 does not offer a manual, and it's quicker, which is what leads me to believe that it's the 911T. Okay, the second point, what the Cybertruck achieved here is still bonkers. The fact that it can put down a quarter mile in the high 12s or low 13s while towing a Porsche 911 is nuts and hilarious to watch. This is another case where the engineering of the vehicle alone was absolutely enough for the Cybertruck to deserve some hype. So why muddy this achievement with a marketing stunt that's difficult to interpret? Put plainly, how this was presented during the Cybertruck reveal was misleading. Now, maybe he simply misspoke, but if that's the case, it only seems fair to me to apologize to Porsche for misrepresenting the true gap in pace. There's definitely interesting engineering to talk about with this vehicle, so expect those videos in the future. And if for some reason you're upset that I'm singling out Tesla here, I have great news. You can check out my video on how the Ford Lightning can't realistically tow 1 million pounds, or how the SSC Tuatara didn't actually hit 331 miles per hour, despite their claims. I actually think the Cybertruck is cool, but marketing stunts that mislead the public always leave a bitter taste in my mouth. Or maybe that's whatever's in my cup. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.